Hey guys, welcome to MR Arts. My name is Rohan and let's get started. In this video, we will be seeing how to draw the hair. So we will be drawing a realistic hair. So this is a specific tutorial video for the hair only. So I would recommend you to watch the previous four parts of this video, which starts from the outlines to the beard and which is a very useful series for the beginners. So it would be more understanding. So let's start. So as you can see that in the reference photo, uh, the side hair is shorter. So it's very short. So we have to give short hair on the sides. So you can see that I am using a 2B pencil, which is a light shade pencil and giving strokes, small, small hair strokes in the direction as per the reference photo. So the thing is that you have to not observe the reference photo and just give each and every hair. Like you have to observe the reference photo, see the direction in which the hair goes and then you have to make the strokes same. So after giving the first layer, I just blended it using a brush. So use a brush that will give a realistic effect. And after blending, you can see that I'm going with the second layer, which is a 6B pencil, which is a little bit darker pencil compared to the 2B pencil. So that will give a realistic effect to the hair. So again, I'm blending it. So blending is very important. So the upper portion of the hair is longer compared to the side portions. So we will be giving long strokes of hair in the upper portion on a, and on the sides you can see that I'm giving short hairs. So every time you give a layer just blend it. So now you can see that I'm giving uh, the upper portion. So you can see that I'm giving long strokes of hair. So I'm using a 10B pencil here so that it will give the darkness because uh, in the upper portion you can't see may, uh, many white regions so I'm using 10B pencil as it will give darkness straight. So here also we have to layer. So you can see that I'm just observing the reference photo and then giving the hash strokes according to the reference photo. So observe the direction and then give the hash strokes. So it's not about just seeing each and every hair and making the hair strokes. You have to just observe the direction and give the hair strokes. So if you observe any dark region on the hair, so you can apply pressure and you can give the hair strokes accordingly. And don't forget that you have to always keep your pencil sharp because uh, that will give uh, nice lines, nice strokes to the hair and that will be good looking. Instead, if you use a blunt pencil, you won't be getting uh, clean hair strokes. So that's why use a sharp pencil. So now you can see that I have completed the first layer and uh, I'm blending it using a brush. Always use a brush for the hair as it will give the realistic effect. And now we will go with the second layer. So for the second layer, I am again using 10B and you can see that I am just darkening the places which are darker as per the reference image. So I am just observing and darkening those places. And now I am using a Tombow eraser to give that highlights to the hair. Highlights are very important while you are drawing realistic hair because that highlights are the shine that fall on your hair. So that will give the realistic effect to the hair. So highlights are very important. And you can see that I have again blended it so that it will get nicely. So now to match with the darkness of the upper portion of the hair, I'm giving another layer of 6B on the side portions so that it will match correctly, it will not look uneven. So you can see that I'm giving another layer on the sides and I'm blending it. 
and now I'm giving a little more highlights. And uh, one more important thing you have to note while making hair is that uh, you have to join the hair with the skin or else it will look two separate parts. So you can see that I am using a brush and blending the portions where the joining happens. So at that place you have to blend and that will look like joined. So that's all friends. I hope you have understood something from this video and if so give a like and uh, ask your questions in the comments and if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button below and press the bell icon so thank you for watching the video see you later bye bye